let me give you guys an update on this video. So this video I was doing the other day, and right before I was about to upload it, the news broke that Ryan Garcia, he tested positive again for his B samples twice. So once again, I'm gonna let you guys listen to exactly what I said right before the news broke. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Ryan Garcia's B sample was open in front of his representatives, and now it's gonna take a couple days to get the results back. But the closer we get to those results, the more depressed Ryan Garcia becomes. You know, I put in so much work my whole life since I was seven years old, and it just, one of my greatest victories is now being, you know, has like a little bit of asterisk because of a lie. You know, a lie is a lie. The truth is the truth, and this is a lie. So yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm generally hurt. Like, I, I cry, you know, at night sometimes just knowing that they're trying to, you know, taint my victory. Off camera, when you, you and I were talking, you mentioned how you felt like these attacks coming post-fight were almost personal between Haney and his father and just everyone contributing to it. And now, I'm not really too sure what's going on with Eddie Hearn, but can you give me some insight as to why you feel that way? I just think, you know, we're like lit literally letting literal cheaters convict me of cheating. Like Victor Conte is a cheater. He literally got caught for steroids. I mean, who, like, why would we be listening to this guy? He literally was the poster boy for steroids and giving it to athletes. And we're listening to that guy. And he's the one that shaped Vada. That's crazy. What's even crazier is the New York State Athletic Commission's uh, president resigned right after this. And what's even crazier is they didn't find any supplement or any uh, steroids in my system, PEDs, all the way up till a day before the fight, day after my fight. So I would have had to take steroids a week before my fight because. I guess it takes a certain time for the steroids results to come in. And then that wouldn't even make sense because it wouldn't even help me in the fight. Like, I'm dead hurt. Like, and. So as you guys just heard from Ryan, he's really hurt over this testing positive for PEDs. And when you listen to Ryan talk, you can just tell he's so conflicted. He says, why should we listen to Vada after he tests positive for PEDs? But he's the one that voluntarily started to test with Vada before the Devin Haney fight. Hell, even before the Javante fight. Then you heard the lady that was interviewing Ryan Garcia. She said, Ryan, you told me off camera that you believe the Haney's. They're the main ones that had something to do with these attacks. First of all, testing positive for PEDs is not an attack. But if you feel that's a defense, why don't you tell the commission that? Everything that Ryan Garcia just said in this interview, all he has to do is sit down with the New York State Athletic Commission and tell him all of what he just said, and he should be completely exonerated, you see, Jake right? Jake didn't want to hear all that. Matter of fact, if Ryan believes everything that he's telling the public right now, he should have that interview he's going to have with the commission completely recorded. And I want to hear Ryan say everything that he's been saying to the public. Even Ryan Garcia's friends don't even believe him when he says these things, like Jake Paul. Because Jake was getting straight to the point. Jake was like, when are you going to request the B sample? Even people like Conor McGregor, he was supporting Ryan until he found out that Ryan Garcia tested positive. Conor said, cheated the weight and juice, lifetime ban. You see, if you guys notice, the fighters that actually do this for a living, they respond completely different than internet fans. You're not going to hear any conspiracy theories from professional fighters. Of course, outside of Javante Tang Davis, but we know why he says it, because he feels that that win that Ryan got was a win for him as well. In fact, Javante actually said that right after the fight. He said, I'm about to go out and celebrate our win, and he tagged Ryan Garcia in that post. But from Tim Bradley all the way down to Pauli Malignaggi, no one is co-signing Ryan Garcia's conspiracy theories, which is what hurts Ryan even more. And what makes the situation even more ironic is the fact that a lot of these fans, they don't even care about Ryan Garcia's fate. They look at him as a sacrificial lamb. He destroyed his own career, but he was able to destroy a big part of Devin Haney's career in the process. They don't really care what happens to Ryan Garcia's career from this point on. They only care about Devin Haney not being the next Floyd Mayweather. But it doesn't make sense to me because if Devin Haney is not the next Floyd Mayweather, there's going to be another American boxer that's going to be compared to Floyd Mayweather. I mean, we all know there's no country that breeds talent the way America does when it comes to boxing. I mean, this is not the Philippines where you have to wait every 20, 30 years to get another Manny Pacquiao. When it comes to America, from Sugar Ray Leonard to Pernell Whitaker to Roy Jones Jr. to James Tony to Bernard Hopkins, Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward, Terrence Crawford, 
if Devin Haney ain't next, then it's somebody else because that talent grows on trees in America. You guys heard Ryan Garcia said he's been crying. It's been really hurting him because he feels they're taking away one of his biggest wins. Of course, it was the biggest win of his career, but it wasn't just the biggest win of his career. It was arguably the biggest win for a Mexican boxer. If you compare him to all of the greatest Mexican fighters, from Canelo, Oscar De La Hoya, all the way down to Julio Cesar Chavez. Brian Garcia, he beat an American undefeated fighter that was considered pound for pound, top three, arguably one of the best fighters in the world, and was expected to eventually become number one. This was the magnitude of Ryan Garcia's win, and he just lost it all. Just like Lance Armstrong and Miriam Jones lost all of their gold medals. Ryan, he talks about all these conspiracy theories and people who colluded with Vada, but then he requests his B-sample from these same people. So nothing he's saying is making any sense. It's not adding up. And once again, when the B-sample results come back, I really hope Ryan Garcia, he is going to say every single thing he's saying when it comes to these interviews. I really hope he's going to sit there with the commission and repeat it all. I hope it's recorded so we can hear Ryan Garcia use everything he said as his defense for why he tested positive. Something else is really getting under Ryan Garcia's skin as well is hearing Bill Haney make these videos doing a countdown to the B-sample results. This bothered Ryan Garcia so much, he retaliated by making a video with orangutan subliminally calling the Haney's monkeys. Once again, the lady that was interviewing Ryan Garcia, she said, we had a conversation off camera where you believe these attacks are mainly coming from the Haney's. Attacks is supposed to mean positive PED tests. So as soon as we got close to May 22nd, all of a sudden Ryan Garcia, he puts up this post. Knowing that his racist Mexican fans will completely eat this up by saying that the monkey is Devin Haney, which is what they're all doing in the comment section. The organization section. that you paid to voluntarily test with. At the end of the day, there will always be cheaters in the sport of boxing. It's just rare you get someone to react the way Ryan Garcia is, at least when it comes to the conspiracy theories. I mean, no cheater ever admits that he cheated on purpose. But to blame the failed test. And then even requested for a second B sample test, it just might be a first. And it's also rare for people to test positive for such a big fight and what could have or would have been a big win. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. And his win over Devin Haney, what are your thoughts? Well, um, it's, I think it's very unfortunate that he tested positive for a, a banned substance. Um, he says, oh, lies. My, my per basic belief, strong belief and position is Vada doesn't lie. Uh, there's, there, those are scientists. Uh, there's nothing in it for them to be lying about a result. Uh, they have a result that shows uh, the positive presence of the substance Osterine in his system, and any scientific inquiry would back it up. Uh, so, you know, he's going to uh, face a rough period of time now trying to uh, justify and live with and eventually accept that he tested positive for a banned substance. Um, and uh, again, about it on life. So, uh, if that's a positive test, it means he had a banned substance in his system. It doesn't help him. And, and you know, it, it dirties up what was a truly spectacular, exciting performance and a, uh, you know, a shockingly effective win in New York. All that goes out the window now. You know, some things we do, think about this, some things we do, right? We do wrong. And we take full responsibility for it, right? But there is some things that we do where others have to pay for what we've done. Haney was never, it's never gonna be the same after this. Cotto, when he fought Margarito with the lace gloves, with the plastic, the plastic Paris in the gloves, in the, in the gloves, he'll never be the same after this. That's the seriousness behind using performance enhancement drugs. You saw all the damage that Devin Haney took. You saw all of that. He's, a little of himself is left in that ring because of what Ryan Garcia did because the game, the edge that he had. So you think about it now. The, and then you have him come three pounds heavy, disrespect the sport, disrespect the weight class, 140 pounds, disrespect the belt saying, we don't care about the belt. All we care about is the win and the money. And then now you put this on top of it. My gosh, three strikes, you're out. 
There should be a ban for Ryan Garcia. I had maybe even a lifetime ban. I'm gonna say it outright. I think Ryan Garcia cheated, bro. I think you took the steroids and you knew to, you took the steroids, all right? I'm gonna stop like away for this, if, if that, if this, bro. I'm tired of all this crap. At the highest level, especially, man, when everybody's looking at this fight, we just gave on boxing its millionth black eye here. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.